Okay, so today we're replacing this wheel bearing, front wheel bearing on a O2 Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, first thing you do is obviously take the tire off. Uh, next, I'm going to um, remove the caliper assembly. Top was a 17, the bottom is a 14. Okay, now let's just remove the caliper. Come off easy enough. Put that there. Take out the brake pads. Alright, next we have two bolts in the back holding the caliper bracket on. It's gonna break those loose. I just took this off recently to replace the rotor, so that's why they're coming off so easy. Whoops. Alright, so I always forget to loosen the axle nut. And I'm hoping my impact can get it off because I really don't feel like putting all this stuff back together. So 32 millimeter. Okay, I just put the I just put the wheel back on without the brakes on. So now I'm gonna try to get this axle nut loose. There we go. I get the rest off with my impact now. So let's bring it back in the air. Alright, now the wheel's back off. Take this rotor off first. And now I should be able to get this axle nut off with the impact since it's loose. Don't forget to grab this little washer behind the nut. You have to tie right in, simple enough to get off, just 117. We're just gonna smack what it goes through. Not, don't do any of this business. It'll damage the joint. I'm actually just gonna thread this on to protect the threads in case I miss. There it goes. Bring it to the side. Alright, I'm gonna thread this nut back on a little bit. Again, to protect the threads. I'm gonna hammer out this axle. Oh! Looks like it's already free. Cool. Okay, next we have the bolts that attach the strut to the knuckle. Oh, I should probably hold the other side with the wrench. Okay, 19 millimeter, both sides. is coming off real easy. Knock on wood, it's not like that control arm job. You know, before I take this bolt out, um, I'm gonna loosen the ball joint. 17. I'm threading on the nut in the back, and then I'm just gonna hammer it out. Go. I'm just gonna finish taking this bolt out. Alright, so this should be everything to get it out of the knuckle. Oh wow, this this bearing is bad. There's grease all over the axle shaft. There's the knuckle. You can see that bearing is toast, man. Okay, so I got the knuckle on the bench here. I kind of cleaned up this area so you can see things better. Um, the 
you can see there's a snap ring that goes around here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, see this snap ring right here? So we're going to have to push on this, and it's really stiff. Push on this to compress it and then pry it up. So I'm going to get it in my vise. It's under a lot of tension. Careful. There it is. But you can hear the wheel bearing. So I'm waiting on parts. Um, I decided to just come here to try to knock this hub out. I didn't bring my camera, um, but I'm using my cell phone, so I'm sorry for the poor quality in this clip. So pretty much what I have going is I have a socket here, and I have the little ring for the hub. Right, We're hitting the hub out this way. So I just put a long bolt through it, and a nut on the other end. And what I'm doing is I'm just smacking this super hard and having it come out the side because you need to smack it really really hard uh, you could prop it up on the ground so it's facing down like that and then you can hit down that'd probably be better but that's the way I'm doing it now didn't bring my camera so I, I wanted to show you guys anyway let me see if I can get a shot of me taking it out with my cell phone coming Almost out of there. There we go. That's it. So now we got this. Got the bearing left over inside. The bearing gets pushed out this way towards the back so I'm going to do sort of the same thing put a big socket here smack it and I'm hoping the whole bearing comes out and not just the inner race my socket a bolt <coughs> and I just needed something to hold it so this cutting wheel fits in here perfectly with this nut so I'm just gonna smack this the reason why I'm setting it up like this is because I'm trying to smack it like really hard It'd work if I, had, if I had a bigger hammer. And I didn't want to miss and hit my hand because that'd be a bad situation. So it's coming out. It broke my little cutting wheel. Okay, I replaced the little thing in the back with a block of wood. Let's see how it, if I can get it out the rest of the way. Oh, I'll tighten that nut. There we go, that's nice and tight. Let's try this again. It's almost there. It's pretty much out. A couple more good swings. There we go. This goes to show you, you never know when wood is going to come in handy.